Yes, Max. Okay. Um, uh, keep working at it. And make sure you have this document out. Do you have this out? Okay. So um, the thing that I want to tell, talk to you about this, which I think is the best advice I can give you when it comes to taxes, is don't do it at the last minute. When are taxes due? April 18th is when they were due, yeah. Um, so it is, I don't know if it's always changed. It used to be April 15th, and then lately it's been 18th. Do you know why they changed that, Mrs. Pierce? I don't. I thought it just was if the 15th fell on a weekend, then it's been bumped to the Monday. Uh, that's probably it. Was the 15th on a weekend? I don't know. But it, the 18th is a Tuesday, so I don't know what the rule is. Anyway, it's been the 18th. Usually, it's always been around the 15th. It's, but, it's yeah. around the 15th. It, it, it's been the 18th for like two years since COVID, um, but I don't know if, actually, they had an extension during COVID, so I don't know if, um, if they've changed it permanently or what. Um, but uh, when you look online, it does say that it, it's really easy. I mean, literally, you've got Google at your fingertips. You can Google when is when are taxes due, and it'll be like this day. Um, so don't wait till the last second, um, and plan to give yourself breaks when you're doing taxes. Because what you're going to find when you're doing taxes is that there's just a lot of things you don't know what they are, and you've got to look it up and see and figure out does this apply to me. And it, that gets tiring, right? You don't want to read 113 pages. You want to go directly there and figure it out. So take it slow. Be patient with yourself. Um, and be willing to come back to it if you need to. All right. So I believe we were right here. Uh, we were done with writing down, like, our city and our state, right? Um, for me, I wrote that I have a spouse. Um, digital assets. At any time during 2022, did you receive as a reward, award payment for property or services, or sell, exchange gift, or otherwise dispose of a digital asset? What's a digital asset? Triton? Stock? Not necessarily stock, yeah. Uh, crypto? Cryptocurrency, currency like that digital currency kind of stuff. Um, did is if anybody in here sell some cryptocurrency in the past year? Nobody? Great. Let's all write no. What if you didn't know what a digital asset was? Google it. Also, see instructions. It literally says exactly what it is in this 113-page document. But right now, I'm with you, so I can tell you stuff like that. Next up, standard deduction. Can somebody claim you as a dependent or your spouse as a dependent? Um, so what does it mean to be a dependent? Yes. You depend on them to help you with? Yes, you depend on them to help you live. You are all dependents right now, every single one of you. Even if you're 18, you are still a dependent because you live with your parents right now. Unless anyone in this room that I am unaware of is 18 and living outside of their house and completely taking care of themselves. Okay, so we are all dependents, except for me and Mrs. Pierce. Um, but we're going to assume that when you're doing this, that maybe you're in college, okay? So let's assume that you're not a dependent right now. Everybody go okay with that? All right, so we're going to assume that you're not a dependent, so nobody click, you, you as a dependent, click. Your spouse is a dependent or anything like that. Uh, age, blindness, were you born before January 2nd, 1958? Anybody born before January 2nd, 1958? Raise your hands, raise your hands, raise your hands. Nobody? Carter? Owen. Okay. Um, anybody blind? Okay. Uh, anybody, is anybody's spouses born before 1958 or your spouses are blind? Anybody need to make a phone call and make sure? We're all okay with that? Okay. Dependents. What do you think we write on the dependents line? Yes. Roommates. Roommates would pay for themselves. Hmm? Yeah. Parents? No, your parents would write you there. Yeah? If you have children. If you have children or somebody who depends on you. When I say somebody who depends on you, it could be... Um, it wouldn't be like a, a spouse is not considered a dependent, even if they're not working at the time. Um, they, would, they would do their own, or you do a joint tax return like that. It'd be someone who is uh, literally a, a child, or somebody you are taking care of, or I believe if you have like an elderly uh, parent or something like that that you're taking care of at that point that you need to be considering as a dependent, you can put them there. Um, but 
if you're just like, uh, my roommate uh, eats a lot of my cereal, um, that's unfortunate for you, but they are not considered a dependent, okay? Um, even though it might feel like it in your heart sometimes. Uh, you don't write their name there. So I would write uh, Penny Woodley and Zandy Woodley here and their social security numbers and that they're my daughter and son. And then I would go here, um, which is a child tax credit or a credit for other dependents. I would look at instructions and see, I basically, there's little worksheets you can fill out within the taxes to see how much each 